If you've ever had your device run out of battery midstream or struggle to record gameplay from your Nintendo Switch, this walkthrough is for you. I'm going to go step by step through how to set up a USB capture card, specifically one built in with USB A and USB C support. That means you can get everything working smoothly in OBS or whatever streaming device that you're using. We'll be using a compact capture card that has both these functionalities built in. So no extra dongles, no guessing which port, and pretty much full compatibility no matter what device you're actually using to stream on, whether that's a new MacBook or even an older PC. So what you'll need is first, obviously, your Nintendo Switch. Second, a capture card with HDMI input and USB output. This one I he have here is from Hajibis, which is an amazing company, and this one supports up to 4K input, a MacBook or PC, and then of course something like OBS Studio, which is a free software. First thing you wanna do is let's unbox this thing. On the back, you can see an example of the connection. All right, let's set this aside. We have the cable here, and then we have this really helpful uh, manual. It comes in English and Chinese. So it gives you the operation steps, but I'm gonna actually just say them out loud to you guys here. Step one is we're gonna plug this HDMI cable into the dock. So I have my Nintendo Switch dock here. Let's set the computer off to the side. And as you can see in the back, I already have the charger cable there. What we're gonna do is unravel this. Now I always like to keep these aside just in case you need to wind it back up later. Where you would typically have your HDMI out, that's where we're gonna put this in. Step two, what we're gonna do is actually connect the device into the computer. So I can pick any of these outlets and plug it right in. Great, now that we've done that, we have to open OBS Studio, which is a free software or any type of recording software that you're using. OBS is the most popular one and it's also compatible with some of the most popular devices what we're gonna do is add a new source. So you're gonna click this plus sign and then click video capture device. After we've done that, it's gonna open up this menu. You can just create a new one. Let's call it Nintendo Switch. And it's gonna open up a new menu that's gonna ask you for the device and also the preset. So for the device, we're obviously gonna use our of this cable and then for the preset it'll just default to high but you can change it to any one that you want and just like that it shows up on screen i can use my controllers and actually move it around and it's pretty smooth so you can enter any of these games but one problem right now is as you can see say you're streaming you have a mic on uh, you have this in the background right but you don't actually have any audio from the Nintendo Switch. So that's a problem that we're gonna fix right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that same plus sign where we added the first video source and we're gonna add an audio input source. Create a new one. Let's just call this Nintendo Switch Audio. And just like that, we're gonna click the same capture card. So not only will it capture the video, but it'll capture audio through another setting. And just like that, it's now coming through. You can see um, whenever I move it, or actually it's better on the home page. You can see that when it's still, there's nothing there. But when I move it, that sound comes through. Now, the third thing that you might see is that you can't hear it yourself, right? That's important because you might have to monitor uh, what's going on. And so what we're gonna do is actually click these three dots next to the icon where we just added click advanced audio properties, which will open up this menu. 
And right now what we have is a current microphone, which is just capturing the microphone from the computer. The second thing, which is the actual just desktop audio. But this is the one that we're looking for, Nintendo Switch Audio, the one that we just created. What we want to do is monitor and output. That means that now any of this audio that comes through will also be played out of your speaker. So right now it would be playing out of this computer. So now whenever I move it around, and we can also adjust the volume of it through this slider, which is perfect, right? You can use that for any of your streams. You can use that for, you know, monitoring any of the sounds that are coming out of your device. Here's a live example of me actually adjusting the volume. You can hear that the actual Nintendo Switch volume goes down and I'm actually going to be just giving a demo of what the actual feed would look like. And do live commentary at the same time. As you can see, it moves pretty smooth. It's at the as advertised 480p or 1080p, sorry. Okay, so we have a little bit of sound there. And now if I want to mute the actual audio from the game, I can do that as well. So that's the tutorial for today. If you're using something like the MetaQuest 3 or any really portable HDMI source, um, this card also includes a 100 watt power supply area. So right here uh, next to this HDMI, you can see that there's a space for something like um, this USB-C cable that we have right here. So if you have something that just goes straight into the HDMI versus the Nintendo Switch that uses the dock, you can just plug it straight in and then boom, it'll go just like that and do the same thing with the same software, with the same setup. So if you're recording highlights or if you want to even be a streamer or a content creator, this is a must have because not only does it have 4K input, it also has 100 watts of power delivery pass through through the built-in cable right here. And so there's literally no software installation required and sitting at only $25, I think it's pretty affordable than many single port cards. Um, that don't offer a lot of the, the features that this one does. So if you're setting up for streaming or just want a better capture setup overall, this is definitely a solid option. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching Intelligent. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what other products we should review.